G'day guys, my name is Christopher and welcome back for, to an art adventure or if you're here for the first time, welcome. So I'm doing Inktober and this is day five with the official prompt word of chicken. This is following the Jake Parker official prompt list. And if you're interested in learning more about Inktober, because I never actually properly explained it, I'll leave a link down below. But basically people are doing an illustration every day during October. And because it's called Inktober, usually those are ink illustrations, but there's a lot of variety going on. And I'm trying out all sorts of different things throughout this month. Today, the new thing is the paper that I'm working on. So this is Yupo paper. And in fact, it's not paper at all. And it's the very first time that I've tried um, painting on this. This is a treated plastic. The company has on the back of the pad a little bit of information about it, but not much. It just basically says uh, paper that is not paper, tree free, stain proof and erasable, allowing watercolour artists to rethink watercolour from a fresh perspective. I was going to be even more brave and try my new coloured inks on this paper, but I decided at the last minute I'd been missing playing with my watercolours after a few days of using inks and you know, this paper is a whole new ball game for me, or this plastic is a, a whole new ball game for me. So I figured I would just go back to watercolour for today's illustration and see what happens. And I'll compare it with uh, ink on, at a later date. So I'm pretty happy with how things have gone, especially considering it's my first time ever using it. It's such a strange surface to be working on and the paint stays wet for so long. It's still been drying after an hour or more. And so I've had to kind of leave it at a stage where I'm pretty happy with it, but I probably would have tinkered a little bit more if I could have been patient enough to wait and I wasn't already, you know, running late like always. Um, as usual, I started at about 9 p.m. tonight and now I'm on to the audio editing at 11. But in terms of this illustration, I'm really um, pleased with how the paints would flow over the plastic Yubo paper and I could get some really interesting effects of things mingling. There's um, less control, far less control than with normal watercolor paper. So I think many people adopt a, a looser style when working on Yupo, and that's what I wanted to go for here. I wanted to choose an illustration that was reminiscent of um, Chinese and Japanese sumie ink style illustrations with those wonderful loose brush strokes and I think I achieved that to some degree, but of course I'm using lots of different colors instead of um, black, just plain black ink. You can see me here towards the end switching to using ink pens. Uh, firstly with the Zebra Sensations brush pen and then later the Bimoji pen that I just received in my Art Snacks box this month. And that was day one of my Inktober videos if you want to go back and see that. Um, and now you can see that Bimoji pen being used to try to get some more contrast up and also to, to reflect back on some of those traditional Chinese and Japanese style paintings, but mostly to build up some contrast and to develop some interest that way. And I'm pretty pleased with how that works. And in fact, it inspires me to be a little bit braver and go back and use some really, really dark watercolors to finish up. So that's pretty much my illustration for the prompt word chicken. Of course, it's more of a rooster, but close enough in my book. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on how I've gone. If you think that I've pulled off an interesting illustration here, or if you've tried Yupo paper before, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. If you're also doing Inktober, I hope that it's still going well with you and it's still having, uh, it's still being really fun for you. I'm finding it a mix of fun and intense, especially considering this whole video editing element. I've never tried to post videos consecutively day after day and it's quite an interesting thing on top of the daily illustrations. Anyway, um, 
that's pretty much the end of this illustration. So if you could give me a like and subscribe if you haven't. And you can also ring that little notification bell so you can see more of my Inktober and other posts as they come out. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.